Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Ultra Game Template. We are learn we are going to learn how to use the cheat system. And if we want to you to learn how to use the uh, cheat system, first my first recommendation would be to go to Ultra Game Template, default game data asset, okay? And let's disable for a bit the development build, okay? Because we want to try something and it's if I am in this mode, okay, and I go to the pause menu and I go to configuration, let me put this to English. And if I go to settings, okay, there's nothing suspicious here, but look what happens now if I uh, use the cheat code. And what is the cheat code? In the full game data asset, okay, we have a section over here which is called cheat, and we have a code for keyboard and a code for gamepad, okay? And so if anywhere in uh, any menu or any menu or or in game, I perform this code, I am going to activate the cheats. So, for example, I go here and I type cheats. You will listen a small sound. And now, if I go to the menu here in settings, even if my game was, a, was originally compiled to not be development, now I can enjoy all the development features, like, for example, test the platform, apply the platform, or if I exit to the main menu and click play, okay, I can even have two extra menus, one to configure the save slot, where I can configure the progression, if I want the damage or the difficulty, or in what level do I want to be, okay? Or I can even unlock all chapters, and if I go to chapters, all chapters are unlocked, which is fantastic, okay? So, uh, aside from that, aside from that, there's something amazing about the cheat menu. Let me put the cheat back again. And it's the following. If the cheats are activated and you hold the pause button, look what happens. I just hold it for a little bit. Now we enter the cheats menu and that's fantastic because here I can send any console command. So for example, slow-mo, uh, let's click uh, slow-mo 5 and let's apply. And now look at my game. Super fast. Okay. Let me enter again to this cheat menu and let's click here. Common commands is a list of common commands. So for example, slow-mo one, if you want to reset the slow motion, fantastic. And you can even put your own commands here. I'm just going to activate the state uh, start unit over here and we'll learn how. We can also activate a fly mode and a god mode, but they are not going to work by default, okay? And uh, something very interesting about uh, about this is let me put again the slow mo one uh, start slow mo one no it's just slow mo one I just misspelled it okay don't work it's not a problem but for example um, if I'm here uh, and I want to test some things and I just need access over here one thing I can do is click the let in front and then whatever I'm going to do let's go into start blinking okay. I, and if I click this button again, it's going to disappear. And again, this button is totally working with Gamepad 2, okay? So obviously, uh, now I fucked up because I don't have a floor. But <laughs> you see, I tried to delete something that doesn't exist. This is not a problem. But let's click Cheats, and that's it. Or you even can uh, can set uh, things to delete. So for example, I can delete all physics objects. And if I click Delete... Pop. all those scoops that use phys uh, physics are going to disappear, okay? So the cheat menu is super useful for the game development, okay? What is, and how can you expand the cheats menu? You have to go to Ultra Game Template, Menus, and then you have here the UGD cheats menu, and here you have absolutely everything. So for example, in the common commands, if you want to uh, use a better command. I'm just going to click to quit this start because it doesn't make any sense. Okay, if I want to put an extra uh, command, I will put start unit. And for example, I'm going to write here start GPU, and that's a very easy way to put new commands. So now I activate the cheats and then common commands. And I say start GPU, apply command, and now I hit GPU data. I'm going to click it again to disable. Note this command, for example, won't work in a shipping build, but anyway, I'm just, uh, just so you know that you can do that.
okay and now we have the god mode and the fly mode that are not going to work and why these are not going to work because we need to implement this in your player to do that again it's super easy we go to blueprints and we go to sorry we go to third person we go to blueprints third person character blueprints we go to class settings and we are going to add the cheats interface and we're going to add the cheats interface okay once we have added the cheat interface, uh, we can actually steal some things. So what can we steal? We can go to the first person example game inside the ultra game template folder. Then we go to blueprints and we go to UGT first person character. Okay. And here if there, there is, there's all these functions, which are function specifically done for the cheats mode. So I am going to grab all these and I'm just going to migrate this to my third person. Okay, and it should work by default. So let's try. Uh, I have nothing in this map that can damage me, but I can indeed uh, try flying. So let me go up here. Okay, and now I'm going to activate the cheats mode. Fantastic. And now I'm going to say fly mode on with collisions off. And now if I walk, I am on real engine Jesus. So as you can see, I don't have any collision, okay. But if I activate the cheats mode again, okay. And I say the fly mode on with collisions, yes. If I encounter a wall, I am going to collide. But how can I do it to fly upwards or downwards? Well, that's a little bit more complicated, okay. But that's why here we have this call in the first person character uh, that comes with UGT. We have the UGT forward vector, okay? And this is a small function that if we copy and we try to put it here, it's not really going to work by default, as you will see. Okay, let me put that here because it will change the way I navigate the world and it's, it's doing very weird things. So instead of that, the cheat mode probably needs some adaptation on a game to game, a game to game basis. So I'm going to come here and say get UGT game instance, and I'm going to get the variable get cheat mode uh, cheat on, and then here I am going to select, and we are going to do a select vector, okay? And we are going to select a, a vector depending on this one. So for example. Uh, what I'm going to do is if the cheats are enabled, select this. And if they are not enabled, select this. Okay. And even we can do if the cheats are enabled. And we can even check if character mode uh, get current Uh, mode or get movement mode and we can check if this is also equal to flying for example okay we put like this i am doing this like shit because this is just for um, uh, showcase purposes and now what we have here thanks to the ugt forward vector is the following i can control this in a normal way but if i activate the cheats and I activate the cheats mode and now I look up, I should start going up. Now I go down and I can travel through my map. And even if I, if I go here and fly mode, we say fly mode off, the usual uh, movement should be implemented. Okay, so that's another way that you can make with the cheats mode. And of course you can add your own button. So for example, uh, I'm going to copy these fly mode buttons and I'm just going to uh, say, for example, change weather. And then uh, we're going to do here three options. We are going to Sunny, Rain, and uh, for example, Snow, and wind i don't know whatever and once i have done this what i have to do is go to button activated and this is a chat menu this is something depth so that's why we work with strings here but then we do a switch on string and we have here if i remember correctly we have sunny we have uh, rain 
snow and wind and here in that in this part you could do whatever you want so for example i don't know in the cheats mode okay uh, what i do is I, I activate the event fly mode depending on this okay in the players what activated the cheat but for example if you are using the market plug the market the market plugin ultra dynamic sky you could get a lot of class ultra dynamic weather and change weather to whatever you want and the sky is the limit. You can make your own cheats menu and put anything you want here. Super useful because this is something that you can even have hidden because only you know the cheat code and then you want to play the something in a shipping build of PlayStation 5 and that would be the way to do it, okay? So yeah, that's it. Uh, let's uh, leave it here and see you in the next tutorial.